Hello everybody! In today's video, we are going to explore how to recover VMware virtual machine data in Linux and what to do when a virtual machine encounters a failure or when it refuses to boot, how to recover a deleted VMware virtual machine and restore its operability. In the Linux environment, VMware virtual machines such as VMware Workstation or VMware Player are stored as a set of files that contain all components of a virtual machine – its disk, settings, snapshots, logs, etc. By default, a virtual machine files are located in the user's home directory – Home, User, VMware, Virtual Machine Name, where sometimes they are in the folder VMs. Main types of VMware files include as follows – VMX – Virtual Machine Main Configuration File VMDK – Virtual Machine Hard Disk Image, which may consist of several parts and VRAM which stores the virtual machine BIOS or UEFI, VMXF – this one contains additional configuration data, VMSD – it contains virtual machine snapshot metadata, VMSN – this file contains the state of system memory and devices at the time of a snapshot, log – virtual machine startup and activity logs, LCK – contains log files to protect against simultaneous access. All the files we have mentioned are stored in each virtual machine directory. If a virtual machine gets damaged, you need to have backups of VMDK and VMX files for recovery operations. What should we do if a VMware virtual machine gets damaged, can't boot, or displays various errors? That is, when you have no access to the data inside such virtual machine and its files can't be read or copied elsewhere. To access the data of such virtual machine, let's use a data recovery tool – Hetman Partition Recovery. It's got two indisputable advantages over other software products of this type. The first advantage – it can mount disks created by most virtual machines. The second advantage – it works on all versions of Linux. So now, uh, we have a VMware virtual machine which can't boot for some reason. It contains the files that we need to access. To access the files of such virtual machine, let's run Hetman Partition Recovery. The app identifies the disks connected to this computer. To access the virtual machine, let's mount its hard disk in the Recovery app. To do it, click Mount Disk and select VMware Workstation. If you have a virtual machine of different type, select it from the list. In the app window, choose the folder containing the virtual machine and click Open. Admin Partition Recovery identifies automatically the disk of the selected virtual machine. Click Next. After that, the VMware hard disk will appear among other disks as a mounted disk. To access its data, right-click on it and select Open. For status, a fast scan will be enough. Here is the data stored in our virtual machine. Navigate to the required folder and save the required folder. As you can see, the contents can be seen in the preview window. Be warned, the recovery app can identify even the files which were removed from the virtual machine while it was still working properly. Such files will be marked with the red cross. To have a file or folder recovered, select them and hit the Recovery button. Choose the directory where to save the recovered data. The files have been recovered.
What shall we do if a VMware virtual machine is deleted in Linux? Can it be recovered? Suppose we have a disk containing a virtual machine. It works properly and it contains some data. Imagine you have deleted it accidentally. By the way, a virtual machine can be deleted both from its interface and from the file manager of your operating system. Please take note. Depending on the virtual machine settings, its virtual hard disk can be split into several files, or it can be created as a single file. In my case, it's a group of several files. In any case, though, to achieve the best file recovery results, it's recommended to recover all virtual disk files as well as the main configuration file of the virtual machine with extension VMX. To recover it, run Hetman Partition Recovery. The app identifies the disks connected to this computer. Our virtual machine was stored on disk SDA2. Let's scan it. Right-click on it. For starters, a fast scan will be enough. Be warned, depending on why the virtual machine was deleted and other factors, the recovery app may not find it after a fast scan. If this is your case, right-click on the disk where the virtual machine was stored and choose Analyze again. Select Full Analysis and specify the file system of your disk. Here is the data of the scanned disk. The virtual machine we are looking for was stored in this folder. Open the folder and you can see the virtual machine disk. This is the file we need to recover. To recover it, select the disk of the lost virtual machine and hit the Recovery button. Here is an important reminder. You must recover the VMX file and all files making up the disk of your virtual machine. Otherwise, you won't be able to mount such a disk in VMware. Choose the directory where to save the recovered data. The selected virtual machine is recovered. As you can see, the disk of the required virtual machine is recovered. Please take note. You should recover the entire folder of the virtual machine with all of its contents. If you do otherwise, the virtual machine will not work again. To run a freshly recovered virtual machine, open VMware, select File, Open to open a virtual machine, give the path to the VMX file of the virtual machine, and click Open. The virtual machine should appear in the VMware library. Alright, now the virtual machine starts easily from the freshly recovered VMDK disk. Let's go to the folder where its files were stored. And they're all here and none is damaged. If a virtual machine refuses to boot from a freshly recovered disk, the disk might have been damaged. In this case, you can recover its data in the same way as we do it with the damaged virtual machine. That is, by importing the machine's hard disk file into the data recovery tool – Hetman Partition Recovery. I'd like to remind you once more – you must recover all files making up the disk of a virtual machine. Otherwise, you won't be able to mount such disk in VMware and files will only be recovered partially. In VMware, a virtual machine disk can be created in one of the two main formats. Thin disk, also known as thin provisioning. Only the space which is actually used in allocate is allocated on a physical disk. Initially, the size of the VMDK file is pretty small, but it grows bigger as more data is written there. And thick disk, 
also known as thick provisioning. The entire disk space is allocated immediately, even if it is not used by the virtual machine yet. The VMDK file occupies all of the assigned space, for example, like 40 GB. In terms of recovery, you are not going to feel any difference between using thin provisioning or thick provisioning. The Data Recovery app will mount the virtual machine disk in both cases with equal effectiveness. The only crucial requirement is to have all virtual machine disk files recovered before you start. As you have just seen, Hetman Partition Recovery is not only a data recovery app to restore deleted files in Linux, but also a powerful tool to work with virtual machines of all kinds. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments below to ask questions if you have any. Don't forget to subscribe to our social media and use the sponsorship feature on YouTube. This helps us develop and become much better. Thank you for watching and good luck!